What's up, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. Uh, today I'll be giving my review for Tolkien. I always thought it was pronounced Tol Tol Tolkien, but it's actually Tolkien. Um, so there's that. Uh, so let's just jump straight into it. Um, this one opens on a Mordor esque uh, looking battlefield as two riders charge towards each other with their swords drawn. We then meet a young Tolkien. Um, such a wonderful cast for this one. Nicholas Holt plays the imaginative Tolkien. Um, Holt gives an endearing performance, switching between uh, a man who has seen the horrors of war to, to a young man who is finding himself at university uh, along with his group of friends. Uh, Holt is joined by the beautiful Lily Collins, who plays Edith Pratt, Tolkien's wife. Uh, Collins gives a commendable performance and really uh, buoys and, and adds to, to Holt's performance. Uh, Holt is also joined by the likes of Patrick Gibson, uh, Anthony Boyle and Tom Glyn Carney, uh, who all play Tolkien's classmates. And these guys do well in providing the, the backbone and a bit more uh, emotional nuance to Tolkien's life uh, and his time, you know, as a young as a young boy and at university. Uh, the young actors, you know, that portray these four characters as children were also outstanding. They, they were the ones that mostly stood out to me. Uh, just a fantastic job all around. Um, the film, of course, tells the story of one of the most genius literary minds of, you know, of the 20th century and what a perfect job it does. Uh, the story itself is a little bit slow burning, but it cuts from Tolkien's childhood to, to his time on the front lines. It just offers a, a gorgeous juxtaposition. Um, it really was a pleasure to, to see Tolkien's uh, thought processes, you know, and how he was able to come up with the elven language and all the other various languages within this world, uh, which first raised its head, uh, the elven language, which first raised its head in a scene early on, you know, which was brilliantly shot and just beautifully written and maybe one of my favourite scenes in a film ever, definitely top 10. It was so interesting to see Tolkien take his experiences from the war and knit them into these beautiful stories that so many people have come to know and love. Um, this wonderful biopic comes from talented Finnish director Thomas Karukowski. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Uh, he isn't well known on a global scale, but I honestly thought that he he might have been or that he was, uh, you know, what with his use of imagery and, and visuals to show the abhorrent horrors of, of the First World War. He's also talented. He's also very talented at translating these images so as to fit within the world forming in Tolkien Tolkien's head, whether it's the form of a dragon barely distinguishable through the fog and then that dragon's fire then turning into the, the flamethrowers that the Germans would use uh, to, to kill, you know, the British in the trenches, you know, or a faint image of Sauron, you know, forming out of said fog, you know, Karakowski, you know, is truly, you know, a craftsman. Um, the soundtrack is also beautifully composed. There's a couple of scenes where the music is very reminiscent of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, but for the most part, the soundtrack is, is the soundtrack perfectly complements the tone of the film and also fits with the li with the life that Tolkien was living at that time. Uh, the Tolkien, the, the sound, sorry, the soundtrack, no surprise, comes from, you know, uh, Thomas Newman, who who was a favourite composer of mine. He, you know, he, he composes absolutely beautiful and quite charming soundtracks, so I'm glad he was brought on for this film. Uh, and this would definitely be a soundtrack that you know that I that I download uh, when it is available. I'll have to check if it is available actually. Um, and now I am aware that the Tolkien family did not give their support for this film, so it's probably not a hundred percent historically accurate. You know, but it shows how Tolkien you know arrived at, at the themes and and languages for his books, and that was honestly you know good enough for me. So there we have it, guys. There is my very quick uh, review for Tolkien. Uh, so let's just jump to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I, would I recommend this film? I would 100% recommend this film. If you are a fan of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and you're not quite aware of the man behind those works, behind those books, then this film will definitely give you an insight into the kind of life he lived you know, before, you know, before he he started to kind of write write the books as we know them today. Um, you know, but and if you're if you are a fan of Tolkien and all of his works, so say the Lord of the Rings books, the Hobbit's books, you know, the this the Sim Sim Simerillion, I believe it's called. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, then again you will love this film. It does a perfect job in showing you this this genius author from a young boy up until the point when he starts to first write the first few lines of The Hobbit, those first few famous lines of The Hobbit. So for that reason, I would 100% recommend this film. I think it's going to be a very popular film among kind of all ages. Um, question number two, does this film belong in the vault? Um, 
My only issues with this film was that it was a little slow burning. That and I wish, you know, we had spent more time with Tolkien whilst he was in the trenches. You know, but other than that, it's a fantastic film. And I, I have always been a massive fan of Tolkien since I read the books and then, you know, watched watched the films uh, by Peter Jackson. So I I have I was very much looking forward to this film since the start of the year, since I knew it was being released this year. So for that reason, I believe it should go into the vault. So there's that little diamond star. It's gone off to wherever it goes with a dragon roar. And yeah, wherever that is really. Uh, so there we have it, guys. There's my review for Tolkien. If you've seen the film and you liked it, let me know what you liked down in the comments below. If you didn't like it, uh, let me know again why down in the comments below. I really want to be able to, to discuss the themes of this film. Uh, you know, and uh, the history of it, even though I know it's not 100% historically accurate. Um, and as always, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with everyone, your friends, your pets, your family, your friendly neighborhood golems. And until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.